Okay, so I feel it's a little bit like um, Cinderella's ugly stepsister. She's a little bit overdone and a little on the um, less than elegant side, but I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> so, but there it is. Now I, of course, uncovered several strands of not that not that well working light so I'll be working on those later and hopefully we can add them on. Christmas here we come! trying to finish up on the second Christmas tree. This time I'm adjusting the design just a little bit. I'm trying to use some of these circles, wire, wiring them around with old clothes hangers um, so that they can provide a buffer between the layers of branches. The first time I didn't do that and I ended up with a pretty dense uh, collection of uh, branches. So this way I'm able to use probably half as many and so you see there's another layer in between here. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. And um, it's pretty good so i um, working on it and using up these. Now I know some people had expressed an interest in what I might do with these and they're very cool. I thought I had some ideas like uh, making a Susian type tree and taking advantage of the holes that had already been drilled and possibly drilling a few more. But the other thing I thought about was to use them to make the hooves of deers, of a deer, and use the branches to make the body. So this would be the hoof and possibly the legs, and they would be wired together, depending upon the size. And then the branches would be folded back and bunched together and wired up and then we'd have to make a head shape. But, um, you know, that's maybe for next year. <laughs> 